Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Today we celebrate the memorial of Saints Andrew Kim Tayagon, priest, and Paul Chong Hassan, and companions Martius. We gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God, 
In the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. With humble heart together we say, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly listened, listened in my thoughts and in, in my words, words in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who have made the blood of martyrs, Saint Andrew Kim Tayagon and his companions, a most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the midst of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am writing you, although I hope to visit you soon. But if I should be delayed, you should know how to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and foundation of truth. Undeniably great is the mystery of devotion who was manifested in the flesh, vindicated in the spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed to the Gentiles, believed in throughout the world, taken up in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How great are the works of the Lord. How great are the work of the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. How great are the works of the Lord. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. How great are the works of the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. How great are the works of the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare the people of this generation? 
What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge for you, you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating food or drinking wine, and you said, he is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came, eating and drinking, and you said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by all her children. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, as we celebrate the memorial of Saints Andrew Kim Tayagon, priest and Paul Chong Hasang and companion martyrs, Korean saints were spread of Christianity. In the first 100 years, over 10,000 Christians were martyred for their faith. And among them, the 103 men and women we honor today. Mother, brothers and sisters, through the witnessing of these martyrs, through their the genuine witnessing of Saints Andrew Kim and Saint Paul Chong Hasang, the Church of Korea is still alive and growing. The blood of the martyrs is the seed of Christians. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading of today, Saint Paul also telling us today, you should know to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and the foundation of truth. And this is truly a gift that we must treasure, mother, brothers, and sisters. We should live out with conviction because God lives among us. But to open up questions, my dear brothers and sisters, how do we behave every day? Are we grateful for what we have right now? How do we recognize God's presence in our lives? These questions, mother, brothers, and sisters, will lead us to another question or deeper question. As we say in our responsorial psalm of today, how great are the works of the Lord to me? How great are the works of the Lord for all of us are still important or relevant today? The presence and the goodness of God in our lives? This is a question, my dear brothers and sisters, that we draw in our gospel today. But the challenge is, how do we answer these questions that arises in our readings of today. Our gospel, apparently, the behavior of the people, as Jesus said, to what shall I compare the people of this generation? My dear brothers and sisters, the channel of grace was revealed to them but they behave impassive or numb. Walang pakialam. Hindi nila pinansin. 
the people or the scribes in the Pharisees during that time, they wanted things or ways they wish. Ang gusto nila, yung kanilang gusto ang masunod. Refusal of God's ways was very obvious because Jan the Baptist and Jesus were God's messengers using different ways of connecting God's message to them. Unfortunately, the human nature responded by finding fault and criticizing the way of God. This is Jan the Baptist possessed by a demon. And Jesus, he is a glutton and drunkard. Iba ang kanilang pagtingin sa ibinigay ng Diyos sa kanila. Iba ang kanilang paningin sa pamamaraan ng Diyos na bigay sa kanila. Ayaw nila ng pamamaraan ng Diyos. Ang gusto nila, ang kanila ang masusunod. Mother, brothers and sisters, kapag ang Diyos ang nagbigay, ito ay tama at sapat sa buhay. God's power is always alive among us. Every blessing that we have, that we receive every day, is God's way to communicate us and to bring His message to us. Don't ignore or judge whatever it is. Because sometimes, God always generous to us. But our behavior is about resistance and sometimes complaining and sometimes being judgmental to the graces that we have that the Lord entrusted to us. Parang sa pagtingin po natin, hindi sapat at hindi ito ang hinihingi ko, Panginoon. Bigay mo naman ito. We want our way. We want our wants or desire in life. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, whatever it is, it has a purpose for you and for all of us. Understand it. Don't put the standard of the world receiving and receiving God's grace. Kaya nga po sabi ko kanina, kung titingnan po natin sa pamamaraan natin at sa pamamaraan ng mundo, hindi sapat ang ibinibigay sa atin. But God gives us complete and full every day to make us to understand and to be with Him every day. Mother, brothers, and sisters, don't put the standard of the world because if that's so, we are creating, as Pope Francis called it, throw away culture. Pag ayaw natin, itatapon natin. Pag ayaw natin, hindi natin papansinin. Pag hindi ito nakapasa sa ating standard, hindi ko ito tatanggapin. Again, mother, brothers and sisters, God is always with us. God always gives us His generosity that we live, that we make our way going to Him every day. That is why, mother, brothers and sisters, Again, our responsible son, let us make a question again for all of us. How great are the works of the Lord? How great are the works of the Lord? Indeed, we are called and we are challenged and we are all reminded today. Everything is grace. We value and give importance and consider it as our treasures every day because at the end of the day, because of the end of our journey, we are all accountable. Amen.
please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, the coming of our Redeemer was foretold by the prophets by preaching repentance for sins. Then the Baptist heralded this coming. In the spirit of penance, let us ask God's help through our prayers. And every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church on earth may continue to thrive and draw more faithful to the feast of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the rich and the poor alike may not make ex excuses to evade the call of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may respond to the call for repentance with sincerity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That all of us may be committed to the cause of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may live in the house of the Lord and rejoice in the banquet of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, you invite us to be with you in your kingdom. As we pray for others, help us to bring them with us to that banquet set forth by your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the, the praise, praise and glory, glory of, of his name, name for, for our good, good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world to christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let's give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly really right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty eternal god for you are glorified when you are, your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. In their struggle, the victory is yours. To Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the hosts of angels cry out without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna, hosanna in, the in the highest blessed, blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name, in the of, name the of the lord hosanna, hosanna in, in the, the highest please kneel you are indeed holy o lord the fond of all holiness 
may call it their for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, may be God unto one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, church spread throughout the world and bring you to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and will have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Perpetual Help, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Andrew Kim Tayagon, and Paul Chong Hasang, and Companion, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life, and praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for him by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, deliver but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Be 
Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the skull to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I, I am, am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, my roof, under my roof, but only, but say, the only word, say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of Christ give us to eternal life. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Nourish with the food of the valiant as we celebrate the blessed martyrs. We humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, may we labor in the church for the salvation of all. To Christ our Lord. Amen. This evening, the Healing Rosary will be hosted by St. James the Greater Parish in the Pitan City, Sambuanga del Norte. Let us pray together the Healing Rosary this evening at 9 o'clock in the evening. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Refine the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you.